By the year 2030, California's population will increase by 30%, surpassing 50 million. Adapting will require highly efficient, safe and clean transportation alternatives that support our growing economy and protect our landscape and environment. This is California High Speed Rail. The governor and the legislature have seen the light on global warming. They've seen the light on energy efficiency. And that high speed rail it would be a fundamental part of a package of infrastructure and policies to lessen California's impact on global warming, uh, to lessen our impact on imported oil, and to improve our quality of life. Over the past four decades, high speed trains have proven to be the safest and most reliable form of transportation in the world and are ideally suited for the unprecedented needs of California in the 21st century. Moving at speeds in excess of 200 miles per hour, high-speed trains will link California from San Diego to Sacramento and the San Francisco Bay Area. A trip from San Diego to Los Angeles in under an hour and 20 minutes. Downtown Los Angeles to Palmdale and Ontario airports in 25 minutes. Downtown Los Angeles to downtown San Francisco, just over two and a half hours, every time, regardless of weather. High-speed rail holds the potential to be a viable alternative to driving that can help reduce traffic congestion, improve air quality, and make getting to and from the airport easier for everyone. I believe that expanding those opportunities in a 20-minute uh, high-speed train ride from Anaheim in the center of what we call the Platinum Triangle, in the middle of the densest area of all of Orange County with uh, residential densities, to be able to get from there to downtown Los Angeles in 20 minutes is a great way not only to relieve traffic congestion on freeways, but to address future uh, potential and future needs. High-speed trains are a clean technology. Running on electric power, high-speed trains will help California meet critical air quality and CO2 standards, while also protecting our landscape by using existing right-of-ways and promoting sustainable development. High-speed rail uses a fraction of the energy of other long-distance transport solutions. Less than one-third as much energy as airplanes and less than a fifth the amount of energy used by people driving these long distances. So high-speed rail is, is clearly the, one of the best ways to reduce uh, greenhouse emissions in the state. We understand that a healthy economy and, and a green economy are one and the same and high-speed rail is going to be an important part of that in California. Requiring no operating subsidy High-speed trains will strengthen California's economy, creating as many as 450,000 new permanent jobs. Benefits will be immediate. Moving safely on improved separated grades, slated for construction over the next decade, California's rail and road network will be vastly improved. I believe we need to focus on the future. We need to focus on our next generation. Uh, what is our planet going to look like? How is our next generation going to get to work? We need to think about the benefits in the long term and not just today. To secure California's transportation future, the California High-Speed Rail Authority is acting now to preserve right-of-ways and complete engineering and environmental studies critical for building the system. The options are either expand the highway, expand the, the runways, and expand the airport gates, all at a cost of over $82 billion. We can build the high-speed train for half that cost. High-speed trains are a clean, safe, and cost-effective alternative for the transportation needs of the California of the 21st century. It is time once again for California to innovate. It is time once again for California to lead the way. This is High-Speed Rails.